Um, my name is Dr. Richard Bowles. I'm an MD. Um, I'm a pediatrician, and I'm also a specialist in genetics and in metabolic diseases. Well, mitochondria are the parts of the cell that make the energy. Um, there are little teeny organelles that we have in all of our cells, and most of our cells have a lot of mitochondria. Mitochondria are necessary because they make the energy for life. Without energy, there is no life. When a cell is not making sufficient energy, and that is a major reason why the patient is ill, that is a mitochondrial disorder. The energy machinery is extremely complex, it involves a lot of different components, and therefore mitochondrial disease is very complex in itself. But one of the things that it has in common is that it involves tissues that have high energy requirements. Cells that have more energy requirements are more likely to be affected when the energy level is low. Neurons or nerve cells are the most, that's in the brain and throughout the body. Muscle also requires a lot. Um, one of the parts of the body that people don't think of is being involved is the gut or the GI tract from the stomach down through the intestines. That is, um, muscle moves it and nerves coordinate that movement. And so there is a lot of GI involvement in mitochondrial disease as well. Because mitochondrial disease can appear like so many different things, it can cause brain disease, which can cause what we call psychiatric disturbances. It can cause depression, psychosis, manic depressive disorder, um, and other illnesses are often called, and other illnesses which are considered to be, quote, mental illnesses, unquote. It can also cause neurological disease, muscle disease, um, kidney disease, liver disease, blood disorders. Um, it can affect many different parts of the body, in children as well as in adults. So a very large number of subspecialties see patients with mitochondrial disease, it's just that they don't know about that yet.